Family Auction 733 of 2024, Mars versus Mars. Thank you, Mom. Take it, please. Staying up fuller. Mars, step out with me, please. Mom, um, step out with me, please. I'm going to say the oath, and if you all agree, just say I do. You understand? Yes. All right. Hands on the Bible. I swear by the Almighty God that the evidence I should give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. I, I do swear. swear. Thank you. Take your places. Take your places. Joycelyn Kelly Morris claims she helped her deceased husband pay mortgage for 20 years on the home they shared. Now his children are trying to kick her out. Candace Morris says her father's wife has no claims to the home and should leave immediately so that her siblings can take ownership. All right. The Honorable Judge Carol Munnins presiding. You may be seated. Your Honor, the party has already been sworn in and ready to proceed. Thanks, Corporal Mackey. You're welcome, Mom. Right. Morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. Joycelyn Morris, I understand that your claim is regarding a home that you shared with your late husband. You say that you contributed to the mortgage each month, but now his children, who are not yours, have moved in and put you out. Is that your claim? Yes, ma'am, but it's, it's one in particular. I see. All yes. right. Let me hear about it then. Well, um, I was married to uh, Mr. Morris, Jack Morris, for 20 years. And every month, faithfully, I would go and I put $500, and I have the record right here, on the mortgage. Let me see it, Papa Matthew. And then, after he died, I paid the whole thing. Right. 1500 I see. All right. Uh, so you would pay the money. To well, the well, how is it? How did you come to pay the, it's your mortgage or his mortgage it or what? It was his mor mortgage, ma'am. Yes. But when I moved into the house, he asked if I could help out. So I said, okay, but what's my protection? So he said he was going to, to, when the mortgage was paid off, he was going to make sure that I was added to it. But if you see right just, here. Just, well, let's, let's, let me get some more information about these payments first. Mm -hmm. So the total amount of the, the monthly mortgage was $1,500. Yes, ma'am. You paid $500. In the price beginning. In the uh -huh. Right. And how did you come to agree that amount? Who decided that you would pay 500 He asked me for that. I mm -hmm. see. You paid it to him or you paid it to the bank? I paid it to the bank. You'll see right there. That's my transaction okay. history. So, yes, mm -hmm. I, I see these. Okay, yeah. so you paid 500 And how long were you doing this for? 20 years, ma'am. You did it during the whole 20 yes. years? Yes. I see. Okay. Because you see, he promised that mm -hmm. when the mortgage was paid off, that I was going to be added right. to the conveyance. Yeah. Okay, so, so what's, just a moment. So, Miss, mm -hmm. um, what is your name, please, ma'am? Candace. Okay. Can Candace Morris. Okay. And Mr. Jack Morris was your father? Yes, ma'am. And Miss um, Joycelyn Morris then would be your stepmother? I guess. <clears throat> okay. So what is your difficulty? She's provided the court with the payments that she has made um, to look like 20 years you are very consistent, ma'am, with your payments, I see. Yes, ma'am. That's the way I was brought up. Right. So she's been paying for the last 20, well... Only $500. Well, never mind the only amount. What is the issue that you have? What is the problem now that is between the two of you? Right, Honorable, that's my mummy house. My mummy and my daddy built that house, and just because my daddy there don't mean this woman should just come take my mummy and my daddy things dying her house, what she should do is she should have been taking that $500 and getting her own house. But just because my daddy ain't had no will, she thinks she could just take all his things. Okay, she don't so deserve that house. She wasn't there when the foundation no, no. was built. Excuse Hi, I'm talking. Excuse me. 
um, when do you recall um, sorry, how long you were living there with him? 20 years. 20 years, right. So you, rec you would recall when she moved, she got married to your father, moved into the house? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shortly when after did your my father mommy died. Pass? He died in 2014. Coming up on Justice with Judge Carroll. Was your name on the mortgage? No, ma'am. Was your name on the deeds for the property? No. No. If you see no, right here, I have it. He didn't put my name. Your Honor? Yes. I know food. I went right on the Google internet and I researched these things. When no, you no, no, don't no. Hold have on. a Listen. will, Hold your on. assets supposed to be divided to your children. Justice with Judge Carroll is brought to you by the new BTC. Fiber is here. Faster, stronger, and more reliable. Together we are unstoppable. Switch today. To get your case heard, call 242-445-4955 or email us at info at judgecarol.net. We seem to remember our athletes when they make us proud at the finish line. Throw a junkanoo parade when they return home, toss them a few and dollars. And then forget about them until the next Members time. of the prestigious Fourth Estate should never sell themselves to any politician. Well, instead, keep their hands and noses clean in order to publish or broadcast the unadulterated truth. Well, that's how I see it anyway. Read As I See It, exclusively at ZNSBahamas.com. New articles premiere on Mondays at 9 a.m. Justice with Judge Carroll. Mrs. Morris, did you probate the estate? Did you go to the court to get papers to be responsible for his estate, to take over his estate? No, ma'am. I just kept paying. So even after he died, you can Because you know how long probate has taken? Well, it's not about if I know how long it takes. The question is, who, who has the probate and what they do with it when, when they get it? In the sense of, you know, okay, so but Mr. Morris, Mr. Morris, and yourself, you lived in the house? Yes, ma'am. Was your name on the mortgage? No, ma'am. Was your name on the deeds for the property? No. No. If you see no, right here, I have it. He didn't put my name. Okay. Is he in your house? So, and how many children did Mr. Morris have? He had four. Okay. Mm -hmm. So where do you, four, he had four children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And all four were born before you all were married? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... Who dealt with his estate when he died? He didn't have a will, so they just split things up. So she just, she just stay in the house, and, and, and my sister and me get the triplex, and my two brothers get the property. But she this wanted- This is different prop property from the house? Yes, ma'am. Where, yeah, where's he, this house located? Nassau East, ma'am. But, okay. but there ain't no probate granted yet, so how she could <clears> say, it, uh, they get the duplex and whatever else. Because, Your Honor, yes, I know fool. I went right on the Google internet and I researched these things. When well, no, you no, no, don't no. have on. a Ms. will, Hold your on. assets supposed to be divided to your children, especially if those the the, the assets you had was before your marriage. Well, when you don't have a will, Miss Miss um, Candice Morris. <clears throat> That's only partly correct that you got from the Google Internet. So the Google which is, lie? Which is why it is important for persons to consult with a lawyer when a loved one dies so that you don't have partial information, you have the full information. Miss, I so went to the lawyer. So excuse me, me. ma'am. Excuse me. So sorry, sorry. When a person dies without a will, mm -hmm. the law of this country is if they have children, if they are married and they have children, then the property is divided between the surviving spouse and the children, not one to the exclusion of the other. The difficulty that I see with this particular matter 
is that nobody applied for probate. And the reason that you need to apply for probate is because property doesn't just transfer by osmosis. It doesn't, it doesn't transfer in air. It doesn't transfer in water. It goes from paper to paper to paper. So but the miss. same way, ma'am, if you please. Rude. That's why you're getting kicked out right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies, ladies. This is a court of law and order, and I require both when parties come before me. Sorry, ma'am. I Sorry, administer ma the law, and between myself, with the assistance of my bailiff, we maintain order. So no springing up, jumping up, raising hand, and talking out of turn. One person speaks at a time. Right now, I'm speaking, and I'm explaining to you the difficulty that I see with the case that the two of you have. It's not a difficulty for me. It's not a difficulty for me. But I'm explaining to you so that you can understand how you've gotten in this position. So in your case, ma'am, it's not just because you were paying, you are, have, you are entitled. The law requires certain things along with that. Ms. Morris, not just because you all are the children and your father died without a will, you are automatically entitled to everything that he owned. When there is a spouse and when there are children under the Inheritance Act, the, the spouse and the children share. Half goes to the spouse and half goes to the children. And however many children there are, they deal with the other half. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I, I hear you about the inheritance part, right? But yes. How she could kick me out the house? Coming up on Justice with Judge Carroll. When someone has been contributing to mortgage payments, right. the court has to give consideration to that person once they can establish that they were paying on that mortgage. She take my daddy pension money after he died and that's what she was using to pay the mortgage. So technically that's still my daddy paying the mortgage. Justice with Judge Carroll brought to you by Shop Smart. Shop early, shop often, shop smart. Love the show and want to sit in on the action? Call 242-445-4955 or email info at judgecarroll.net. Oh, hey there. <laughs> you caught me in the middle of doing a TikTok. Well, Tajaro, this is the Sunshine Room. Why are you doing a TikTok? Because on this episode of the Sunshine Room, we are featuring a Bahamian teacher that uses social media platforms like TikTok to engage with her students. Trust me, this is going to be a good one. You don't want to miss it. Head over to our YouTube page to catch this week's episode of The Sunshine. Justice with Judge Carroll. I don't know about the kicking out of the house part. That's the problem. Because I have the evidence here, Ms. Morris, mm -hmm. that she has been paying. So there is another law in the country that says when someone has been contributing to mortgage payments, right. the court has to give consideration to that person once they can establish that they were paying on that mortgage. Yes. Right? So she has the evidence that she was paying on the mortgage. So she has certain rights in relation to her occupation because of that, because the law gives her that right, not just because you all are the children. Yeah, but, but Your Honor, she take my daddy pension money after he die, and that's <clears> what she was using to pay the mortgage. So technically, that's still my daddy paying the mortgage. And so that how means do you for know that years, she took the pension money? Well, what else she doing with the pension money? Well, because I don't it ain't know. Going to us. But, well, I don't know, but the law doesn't just work on because I think so and because I believe. But she retired, Your you Honor, so where she getting the money from and to because, pay the mortgage? Yes, and where well, I don't know. I telling you where, Your Honor. She no, take my daddy that. money. You don't know that. That's what you think. You think she must be get, oh, because she must be get the pension money and because she must be get this, that's why and that's how. But when he die, the, the money was given, the pension money, the retirement money was given to her as the spouse. And who told you that? 
the Google mom. Exactly. <laughs> so, like I said a moment ago, that is partial information, and this court doesn't operate off of Google law. It operates off of the laws of the Bahamas, which is either in the statute books or in the common law from cases. Right? So I have already indicated to you that as a person who was paying on a mortgage, the law has provision that when you make payments on a mortgage, and she didn't just give your daddy the money. She put it on the mortgage, and she has the evidence that she put it on the mortgage. So, ma'am, you need to make your application. If there's been no application for probate, you need to make the application for the probate so that you can deal with your interest. Why are you so, waving your finger at me, ma'am? Sorry, ma'am, but I have a question. No, I'm not answering any questions. You brought a claim. No, 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 because we could be here all day with this question and that question and the next question. I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to make a determination to decide on a claim that has been brought to this court. My determination on the claim that has been brought to this court based on the law, right, is that as a person who has been contributing to a mortgage, A, and B, as the spouse, the lawful spouse, she has an entitlement to remain in the, pro in the home. What you need to do to secure your right is to ensure that you make the application for the grant of probate so that you can then deal with legally with the bank and with the children, with the property, because then you will have the grant of probate that allows you to deal with your late husband's estate. Until then, this situation is going to continue. You say, I say, and you all will be having a tug of war. Get your papers in order, and then you can take the next step after that. So in terms of your claim to be allowed to remain in the home, Excuse yes, me. that is granted. And that's the case, um, that's the decision of the court. So the case for the plaintiff is granted. The order is granted that you can remain in the home. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Judge Carroll's ruling is in favor of the plaintiff. I don't think I got everything that I was entitled to. Because the lawyer tell me, say, in order to get the probate, I have to get agreement with all these children who against me. So. You know, she wouldn't answer my question, but I could stay in the house, though. No, I did not get justice. Let me tell you something. These people is wicked, and she killed my mommy because she was the sweetheart just so she could come along and get my daddy thing. She think, I don't know, but that's why I want her out my daddy house because she was doing this from the beginning. She know what she was doing from the first beginning.